Welcome back to the Healthy Skin Show. I am Takashi, your healthy skin coach, helping you get clear skin and preaching to the world why food is the ultimate medicine. Today, I'm going to review a Reddit post in the subreddit Acne. She titled it PIE, which stands for Post Inflammatory Erythema, Closed Comedones and Inflammation. Help. So she's talking about acne and inflammation on her forehead and cheeks. Here, you can see that here. And you can see her post-inflammatory erythema here where the capillaries are dilated and inflamed on her cheeks. And my first question to potential clients is always, what is your diet like? Because most likely food is the root cause of her problems. And if you change up your diet, food can be the ultimate medicine for your skin problems. So that's what I asked. And some other Redditor responded, diet doesn't work for everyone. I ate straight up clean whole food for like four to six months. No difference. Same problem as the original poster. And I asked, could you list your typical foods? I also think this Redditor thinks that he's eating clean whole food. And maybe there's something in there that is inflammatory to his body. It could be vegetables and fruits, and he probably doesn't even know that. For me, when I had my big eczema flare-up, I was drinking three to five glasses of tea every single day, thinking that it's healthy and that it's anti-inflammatory. But what I found out was my body's actually really sensitive to tea, so I had to cut that out, and my skin dramatically cleared up. What people don't know is that what they think is healthy is actually causing them more and more problems. I also would love to know what topicals this Redditor is using because most products out there are actually really harsh on sensitive skin and it could be disrupting the skin microbiome. And this Redditor could be using common products sold in grocery stores that could be damaging his skin and he doesn't even know it. So I would love to work with him to find out exactly what he's putting in his body and on his skin. And then the original Redditor replied, I eat a plant-based pescatarian diet, a lot of vegetables and wheat bread. I do like sugary things too. No dairy because I know that's bad for my acne. Well, you know what's even worse than dairy? Sugar. Sugar is super inflammatory to the body and it's pretty much like poison. Unfortunately, a lot of people love it and I used to be one of those people because it releases so much dopamine in the body that the sugar rush essentially gets you high and almost dependent on the release of these feel-good hormones in the brain. She also eats a lot of wheat bread. What she doesn't know is that about 6% of the population is sensitive to wheat and to gluten, which I'm one of those people. I found out I'm sensitive to wheat, so I cut out all gluten products in my diet. And what's contained in gluten is something called zonulin proteins, which help regulate the leakiness of the intestinal barrier. And when you eat wheat, which contains gluten, which contains zonulin proteins, you actually increase the permeability of the intestinal barrier. So you're actually increasing that leaky gut syndrome and allowing food particles to escape your intestinal lining into the bloodstream, which causes more inflammation in the body. 70 to 80% of your immune system is in the gut. So your immune system starts overreacting to these large food particles in the blood, which can cause all sorts of medical problems, including skin conditions like acne and eczema and psoriasis. Some people experience brain fog or mental fatigue or joint and muscle pain. So you really have to be careful with your diet because if you are seeing symptoms in your skin in the form of acne or eczema or psoriasis, or you're feeling pain in muscles or joints or areas of the body that you've never experienced pain before, chances are your diet needs to change. Your gut is screaming for help because something you are eating is causing inflammation in the body. So I responded by saying this healthy skin coach can help and sent her my website link. So I hope she's watching this video and books an appointment with me so I can help her balance her gut 
in skin microbiomes in order for her to get clear, healthier skin. And going back to sugar, I found this research study titled The Stress, Food, and Inflammation, Psychoneuroimmunology and Nutrition at the Cutting Edge, which was a study done by the Ohio State University College of Medicine published in 2010. And it talks about how inflammation is the common link among the leading causes of death. Mechanistic studies have shown how various dietary components can modulate key pathways to inflammation, including sympathetic activity, oxidative stress, transcription factor, nuclear factor, kappa beta, and pro-inflammatory cytokine production. And I talk about inflammatory cytokines a lot when I'm coaching my clients on what to do in terms of changing their diet and their lifestyle. And in majority of the cases, diet is the number one cause of inflammation in the body. This study reads, diets that promote inflammation are high in refined starches, sugar, like what she was eating, saturated and trans fats, and low in omega-3 fatty acids, natural antioxidants, and fiber from fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. It goes on to describe a westernized diet which is high in red and processed meats, sweets, desserts, french fries, and refined grains had higher inflammatory biomarkers like C-reactive proteins and interleukin-6 which are inflammatory cytokines and they clearly linked trans fatty acid consumption with higher inflammation. So when you work with me I change up your diet to reduce all that inflammation in your body. This study reads, higher fruit and vegetable intakes are associated with lower oxidative stress and inflammation. In fact, some evidence suggests that the addition of antioxidants or vegetables may limit or even reverse pro-inflammatory responses to meals high in saturated fat. So that Redditor needs to reduce her consumption of wheat and sugar because this study reads, refined starches and sugars can rapidly alter blood glucose and insulin levels. So when she's consuming all that sugar, it's spiking that the amount of sugars in her blood, which causes all sorts of problems. And hyperglycemia can increase production of free radicals as well as pro-inflammatory cytokines. So I hope you like this video. If you need help with your skin, like acne, eczema, or psoriasis, or you need help with your nutrition in order to reduce the inflammation in your body, please reach out to me at healthyskincoach.co and I will show you why food is the ultimate medicine. I will help you balance out your gut and skin microbiomes in order to get healthier skin and an overall healthier body. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. As always, Taco is out.